I'm getting kind of late start today, uh, a little lazy, but I gotta change the rear brakes on this car right here. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, let's see, let me focus. Yeah, it's like no brakes left. Here's the new rotors and new brake pads. So if you guys are wondering about the Premiere series that I was supposed to release today, well, I tried to uh, record some videos this weekend and it didn't go so well. The uh, MacBook Pro 2011 that I have is a little too slow to record the screen and play with Premiere at the same time. Yeah, so I have a external HDMI recorder coming in. It comes in Wednesday, so Wednesday is when uh, the fun starts. Until then, I'll just uh, work on my car and uh, do nothing. See that rain, guys? That's Virginia. It's been raining a lot lately. That's why I haven't been drone flying. Look at that. Still no light. Ah, uh, yeah, you get the point. Need new brakes. The Mazda 3 is really easy because you just take off this clip and there's an Allen bolt right here, Allen bolt right here, and the whole thing comes off. And you pull this uh, rotor off and put new pads in and you're done. I just noticed right here, if you look at the shock, it looks like it blown again. What the heck? Come on, Bill Steen. Like, I already got a one replacement uh, for it, but this is my second replacement, and why is it blowing? It's weird. So, before this set right here, I'm not sure if they changed the model number or changed the, um, the type of shock, but when I redid the whole car with new shocks and struts, I never really had a problem besides the front going out, uh, like after like, what, eight years? And I can't get this strut here, or this, this shock to last more than a year. At least, uh, Bill Stein got a good warranty program as a lifetime warranty. Why am I so dark? Oh yeah. Aha, seven millimeter. Probably should have brought out the the uh, power tools for this. If you guys know anything about Virginia, it's human as shit. It'll help if I uh, release the e-brake on it. So. This is the brake I have left. Not much, isn't it? Poor man's impact wrench. I'm dying. This is probably one of the worst days to work on the car. Oh yeah, this is the old one. 
probably still good, probably gonna be surface, but I'm gonna change it out anyway. All I got left now is to bleed the brake on this side. This is one of the speed bleeder junks. This end goes on the little nipple right here. It'll suck out the brake fluid and it's a one man operation. It's really amazing. I've been using it for years. Check it out. It comes with uh, this piece right here. This is really genius because you don't have to uh, have somebody pour it. You can just leave it right there and it'll uh, suction in itself. Oh yeah, look at this. Finally done this side. You can see right there. Okay, if you focus, come on G7X, you can focus. You got this. There you go. New brakes, uh, pads, and new rotors. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put the wheel back on and call it done. I'm not gonna film the yellow side because the yellow side is basically the same thing as this side. Oh yeah guys, look at that. New pads on the passenger side. I'm done. But your boy definitely uh failed see what happened was let's go through the engine okay so you know the cap that goes to this uh brake reservoir cylinder thing well it fell in Timbuktu and I gave up on finding it I spent like 30 minutes maybe an hour trying to find it no luck so I'm gonna order another one and hopefully it'll be here real soon this is real ghetto but it works for now at least look at that I just took a glove and I rubber banded around there so the air wouldn't get in. I didn't want any humidity to get into the brake fluid, so. Still trying to find this thing. Where'd it go? Like, come on.